hello guys welcome to another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can make an image gallery in HTML CSS and also JavaScript check you I will use those technologies to develop the image gallery okay so those are images I'm gonna select any one image then image will be appeared inside the light box you can say that image gallery right I'm able to check the next one image third one fourth one and I am able to check the previous one image okay and I am able to close the image gallery also so this is a very simple project I'm gonna teach with you how you can create this project so I'm gonna open my code editor inside my code editor I have an index.php file uh, I mean HTML file inside JS folder I uh, have a uh, empty and inside the images folder have a uh, 10 images the images folder must be write the images okay inside the images folder have a uh, 10 images the each image size is 600 by 300 I mean 600 width and 300 height inside the CSS file is a uh, CSS folder is uh, empty I will create a CSS file okay so first thing you need to write the basic syntax of HTML file and write the title image gallery okay then I'm gonna select the write the div and assign the class um, gallery okay and I'm gonna select uh, the H1 tag match gallery project using jQuery okay inside the image gallery class we need to include the each image so I'm gonna select image so the first one image and we need to remove that copy this one paste paste a couple of times we just change the image name okay two three four five six seven eight nine and finally is ten Save that and right click it and open with live server. Okay, those are our images 10 images, and this is our heading text. Okay, let's create a CSS file inside the CSS folder. I write main.css. First, I select the body and I'm gonna use font family this, this one and I'm gonna select h1 text align center then I'm gonna select the gallery class this one class okay guys and assign the margin 10 pixel and also then I'm gonna select gallery inside the gallery class have images so I select the image tag and assign the width of the image light box size I'm gonna select 22 pixels height 120 pixel I'm in 150 pixels this is a light box size you can change that to assign your own size width and height okay and I'm gonna use padding by pixel and also I will use filter filter grayscale starting time is 100 percent and also I will use transition class 0 0.2 seconds then any user will hover the mouse on the image I want to first I will use hover 
and I just need to remove the filter filter grayscale scale 0 and I'm gonna use transform transform scale 1.1 1 .1, okay. so save that and we need to include this file inside our index.html file csv folder main.css right save that and let's check it now in the browser okay guys but I check it where is the problem I think something is wrong mm, how, uh, okay everything is perfect but I okay here's a mistake I just use two seconds okay everything is perfect right now the next thing you need to download the project so I'm gonna select the Google uh, I mean open the Google and write the jQuery image gallery light box in jQuery open this one link location data light box and then you need to download this project save that close that and also close another tab open the project and extract here inside this folder we have a district file inside the district file we need to copy the CSS files and go to your project this is a my project okay inside my project I have a CSS folder inside the CSS folder I have a one file main.css we need to include those files okay and go back again the lightbox project and copy the lightbox plus jQuery.main file copy that and go to your project open JS folder and paste here we need to include CSS and JavaScript file on our project so let's write the CSS file main first CSS uh, lightbox.css uh, CSS uh, lightbox main.css right and we need to include also script for, uh, JavaScript file okay first save that now the next thing we need to assign the each image inside the anchor link okay so I cut the first one image and write the anchor link and first one image inside the image we need to paste the first one image path okay let me show you I click on image this is the first image this image has been appeared with another tab or another uh, browser you can say that another screen okay so we need to include the each file inside the anchor link images image 2 inside the anchor link we need to paste the image text okay image 3 images image 4 images image 5 images image 6 we need to include the all files okay guys Images, image eight, right? Images, image nine, image ten, okay. 
okay guys this is very simple now the next thing you need to assign the attribute okay the attribute is a data light box equal to assign any name I'm gonna assign the name my gallery okay first say that and let me show you if I that open that as you can see guys this is our first image if I click the second one I can't see the light box why because we need to include the light box attribute like this copy it paste 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 on each anchor link I mean inside the anchor link you need to paste this attribute okay save that and let's check it now on the browser right this is our light box but we need to display the next previous and also close button so you need to just go on your light box project your downloaded project right and go to images folder and say the images folder have a next previous and also close images available you need to copy that and go to your own project and say the images folder you need to paste that and open the browser and refer the page then I'm gonna select the first one image this is the image box but why I can't see the next and previous icon just a minute I check it uh, where is the problem just a minute guys light box min dot ceases mm, just a minute guys mm, just a minute guys I check it where is the problem uh, I can't see the next and previous button okay just a minute I check it images please First, I cut those and let's check it now. Okay, paste them again. Let's change the file name just a minute. Light box main.css, and the second one is a light box .css save and then check it. As you can see guys this is the next button and this is the close button I'm able to see the next image and I am able to see the previous image and I am able to close the image gallery so this is our simple project I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel for getting updates have a nice